Yeah, I haven't been doing much of anything here for the last week. Had a couple good drying days. I tried scraping the driveway here, leveling out. Now we got rain, just a mucky mess again. Monkey around a few other little things. Ain't getting done, nothing I want to get done, but I say it just quit raining again here today. Ain't, ain't drying up anytime soon. Grass hasn't really started growing. I say a week or a little over a week ago I ran out of silage. So I've been just feeding cows whatever I can get and I got some baleage here off my in-laws. And they haven't decided whether they want to sell anymore or not. I got this will last a couple a day or two here yet. Still feeding them some dry hay, but I'm running out of that. So I'm waiting to hear back from somebody here right now. She didn't have any, but her, she said her brother and her brother-in-law had hay. They might, at least her brother-in-law had hay he was selling, whether I can get any baleage or not. He didn't have none of that. But she knew of somebody else that might have had some, so she's going to be checking to get back to me, and I haven't heard back here yet. But, uh, I say, it's just getting damn discouraging. Ain't gaining on nothing. Miserable feeding cows here now. They're expecting silage. Trying to feed them grain separate. And as soon as I start throwing them grain, they just go nuts in there. I mean, it's just like candy to them. And they're, yeah, it's just a battle. But Ben going to try to work on this. This is one chance I got here now because I don't have silage. I can take the time to work on this a little bit. And I was two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I guess. I mentioned in another video that the bearing was out of this wheel and I took this apart rebuilt that wheel and as soon as I put this back together I was hearing squeaking and squawking on this side of the machine and I checked this wheel before I put anything on the track back on because I thought at the time it didn't really look right but I couldn't get no wigglement out of it well that night that starts squealing I don't know if you'll be able to tell here or not but this back wheel is cocked in on top so that bearing is out of that so plans been to tear this apart but I haven't got to it and then I thought well all right since I got to do I'm going to do this one I had that clicking problem in this one like I, said, I don't know why but when I backed up turning to the right that track would click or was getting clicking and I figured all right something in the chain drive or the axle something's hitting or jumping or clicking or whatever so I just pulled both tracks off I'm going to do that wheel and I was going to do this one pull it apart and check well after I pulled the tracks off I went out in your driveway and I mean I backed up turn left backed up turn right Drive forward, turn left, turn right, back forth. I sat there, did circles. I mean, I pushed the lever full forward and spin it around as fast as I can. I am getting no noise out of this wheel now. No matter what I do, this is not clicking. So that leads me to believe it's something with the track. That the bushing, I mean, the bushings are getting more on it. I mean, that one ain't bad. Now you can see this one. This is what's pulling on the link piece. So it's wearing it. I mean, they're getting more. That one ain't bad. And another one, that one. See, these other ones, I probably, when I tore it apart, to, one other time the links was bad, so I just put new, new bushings in it. I haven't looked at it that close, but it's one of either two things I'm thinking because it started clicking after the one time I did put change that bearing that it's either because these links are getting worn off it's getting a twist in there or I mentioned it before what you're not supposed to do is like what I got right here you're not supposed to have these on two inners you either move one or the other. You're not supposed to do both of them from what I read in one instruction sheet. But I've done it before. 
but that might be the problem there. But as you can see here, these links are getting quite a bit of side play. I mean, they're wearing sideways and the holes are getting more because this is a brand new bushing. And I'm probably not gonna be able to see it here. I can do this. I can't get the angle on I want. I can do it this way. I mean, that should almost be solid fit in there. It shouldn't be that much movement. And what they recommend is you change, replace them links every other time you rebuild it. Well, I rebuilt these tracks once. I've got a new bushing kit, put all new bolts and bushing in this already, so these links should be changed. Problem is, and I forget, I looked it up on their website there the one day, and it all depends on how many pads you got. But you can buy the whole kit. I'm like, I forget, I want to say it was like 700 bucks for everything. And I want to say the bushings, bolts, and nut kit was around 300 or something. That's I'd have to look it up. I'm going to be looking up again. I can't remember right offhand. But I can maybe get away with just the bolts and bushings because I have another link kit. Now, as I was say, I've told this story before. This is the second set of tracks I've had. The first ones I got were called the C-Series. And the cleats are like three-quarter by three-quarter, where these are an inch by inch, or three-quarters by an inch, I forget. But the, these, the, the lugs, the bars, are heavier on these because this is what they call the F-Series. And the difference between the C-Series I had, the bushings were three-quarters of an inch, I believe. I rebuilt them and upgraded them to the D series, which I believe the D series uses a 7 8 bushing. It might be an inch bushing, I'm not exactly sure. The F series uses, I believe these are an inch and a quarter. I don't have my tape measure with me to measure them. So, like I say, I'm either going to have to buy all new links, all new bolts, bushings. Or, what happened the last time I rebuilt my old set, I only wanted the bushings and bolt kit. The dealer I went through messed up and ordered the link kit too. And I said, well, the hell, then I'll just take it because at some point I'm going to have to rebuild these again. Because that was the second time I was rebuilding that set with the D-links. So, I took the D-link the D, D -link kit links and you can see that's difference in them see, these links are a lot wider so that's going to take up a lot of this space I'm, a, I'm not sure if they're the exact same length but that really don't matter because you're going to space them in and out so that's the thing I can do this by just getting a D series bushing set kit I got all, I got enough of these there is 17 of these links on each side so there's 34 of these in each track so I need 68 of them and I counted them up I got uh, I think I had 38 in one box so they, they must have sent sent them by box so it should be should be enough of these links and that's that thing. And these actually do look like, I mean, they'll fit in there. Should be no problem. The only thing is, like I say, the, D, the bushings in the D series, I mean, there's still going to be some play, but that's going to take up quite a bit. And like I say, the D series just won't last as long. I mean, I, I think they'll wear about the same. Like I said, by the time these get wore down compared to what the D series, I mean that's the only difference. I mean, maybe a sixteenth of an inch all the way around. 
So well, these bushings won't fit in there, but so that's what I'm going to be doing with these. That's what I should've been doing today, but I didn't get to the house I'm screwing around here in the barn. But uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get get that bushing and rebuild them, and I I really hate that idea. I've like everything else, I should turn around, and sell these, go buy a new set. But this set was like three thousand dollars when I bought them. I don't even want to know what the hell they are now. But so now, I said, I'm gonna get this fixed, and I'm gonna drive this around here a little bit to see. Double make sure that that's not clicking. Because like I say, I, I really should get in there and replace some chains. But, that's the thing, I don't have the, I said I found a 50 foot roll of chain on eBay for just under 400 bucks. And if I'm gonna put $400 down, I mean, I don't have the money to do all that shit. So what I'll do is, if I get this fixed, I might just put these tracks back on and drive it around here again, see if it's clicking. And, but like I say, I'm almost certain now it's coming from them tracks. Whether the links are too war, or I have, misspace them like I'm not supposed to do except the thing I don't have many many spaces where I could take up just the one link so that's why I started doubling these up so these these see these are due to be rebuilt and like that well I get this get this tracks on them because I need this to load manure if I ever get a chance to spread anything like I, said, I can't even haul manure I hauled out to Hayfield there the other day, and damn near he didn't get out of the field. And it's, it's, it's just getting. I'm almost going to say it right now. I'm not going to be planting corn this year again. I mean, I haven't got the corn off from last year. And that's why I'll be planting corn again. So, whether I look into sorghum sedan grass, or maybe I should look into rye or something. I don't know if I can get two cuttings out of rye. If I can get be as equivalent tonnage wise as doing sedan grass pretty close or what, but it's almost getting it ain't worth the fight. And I said the way they're screwing around the food supply chains and stuff, I mean that might almost be advantageous for me to stay in this. Because if there's food supplies in the stores, I mean uh, Supposedly probably against the law, but I could sell milk to somebody that wanted to come in here Now that I'm grade B I'm not bound by a contract like DFA had where I have to sell them. I can't can't It was I could not sell to anybody else I could use milk for our own use, but I could not sell to anybody else Well, I'm not bound by that contract now So if somebody wants to come in here and give me three gallons of diesel fuel for a gallon of milk, I'll about what's going to take here at some point, I'm guessing. So, I say I'm just rambling on here. That's I haven't been able to do much of anything else. That's planned right now. Get that wheel changed. Get that greased up. I probably should change the oil in that. It's been quite a while since I changed that. Um, I say next week is supposed to be real nice here. The forecast I see is in the 70s from. Sunday on, dry, mostly sunny in 70s. And that's why I want to get this running again because I've got a relative that wants some of that old manure I got over there for their flower beds and garden and stuff. So I got to start hauling some of that over to them. But, like I say, it's pain in the ass. So, I guess I'm going to leave it at that. That's all. Plan on this here right now because I get a chance here tonight. I'm going to pull it up online again. I don't see any re reason why these links won't work. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I should call the company and ask them if I could use D series links on F series tracks, but I don't see any difference why they won't. So that's the plan for now. So thanks for watching. We'll catch up with you later.